So this video is meant to be a bit of a review of what fractions are. Um, I hope you've learned about this a bit in the past and we've looked at it a bit together in the classroom. Um, so here we have one half. Remember when we're talking about a fraction, it's sort of talking about uh, parts of a whole or down here when we talk about like a set, how many uh, parts in a group. So looking first at this top larger example, this should be pretty familiar to you. Here we're seeing one half colored in. I like to think of a pizza all the time. Uh, in this fraction, we're seeing the whole being split into three pieces. One third is colored in. The whole is split into four parts. One quarter or one fourth is colored in. The whole is split into fifths. One fifth colored in. The whole is split into sixths. One sixth, one seventh, one eighth, one ninth, one tenth. Now, unlike a ratio, we never do a part-to-part -part comparison with a fraction. A fraction is always a part to whole. So up here, we saw part of the whole is colored in. In this example, uh, we're thinking about the whole as this set of round uh, circles. So how many of them are green? Three of them are green. So I'm going to put that as a fraction with three being the part, uh, the numerator, that's sort of what we're looking for. And the bottom, the denominator, is the whole. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in the whole. So three out of twelve, or three twelfths of this set, is green. Obviously, four twelfths of the set is brown. Here's a couple examples from the next uh, couple IXL activities, which again are just supposed to be a review of your understanding of fractions. First one, shade three quarters of the rectangle. Okay, so I'm just gonna shade it in. So one, two, three. Obviously my shading here is not great. It should be easier on IXL. Down here, shade two elevenths. So obviously there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven parts in the whole. I only need to shade two of them. One, two. This last example is very similar, but has two different parts. So the first asks us to shade one part of the rectangle. So I'll do that. Shade one part. Okay. Second part of the question says, when one part of the rectangle is shaded, what fraction is shaded? So one part is shaded. One part is shaded out of a whole. We have one, two, three, four, five parts in the whole. So we have one part out of five, or one fifth. That's all the examples for here, good luck. 